G'day guys, just coming towards the end of Oshkosh and I've been lucky enough to get a demo flight in the Bearhawk four place bush plane which is parked here behind me. So Rawley, uh, he's a commercial pilot, he's uh, going to take me up for a demo in the aircraft, we're going to do a few stalls and have a bit of a play with it, see how it handles and then once we get back on the ground I'll head back over to the Bearhawk booth and uh, have a chat to Mark and show you guys some of the other aircraft they've got on display there. So my all aircraft, turn right heading 150, Prider to ATC Tower, say at 1,300 feet on the flight board, clear the class Delta airspace, look for stellar traffic. Turbine Legend, runway 36 left, line up and wait. Canadian Cessna, line up and wait. Turbine Legend, clear for takeoff. This is my first time doing a voiceover in a video because unfortunately the audio we recorded in the aircraft was distorted and unusable. I considered scrapping the whole video because we lost all of the discussion with Rawley about his personal experiences with the aircraft and about the performance characteristics. I was able to salvage a few small parts of the video so you can see the real world climb rate, cruise and stall speeds and for those who haven't been to Oshkosh you get to see a bit of that from the air too. After we landed I caught up with Mark the owner of Bearhawk Aircraft, to talk about the different models they offer. So you can skip ahead to that video now using the link in the top corner, or I'll put the link up again at the end of the video. Chipmunk, runway 36 up, line up the way. Line up the way. Chipmunk, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. T-28, runway 36 up, line up the way. I like Turbine Legend, demo. I like Turbine Legend, demo. Roger, hold short of runway 36 up. Takeoff and climb were impressive. Roy didn't push it as hard as he could have, so there's definitely more in it. Comparing the video to a satellite photo, we're airborne within about 300 feet, but Mark tells me that they'll take off in as little as 200. Clear beach, yep, fire them up, be ready. Climb to 500 feet was quick, taking about 15 to 20 seconds, which equates to about 1,500 to 2,000 feet per minute climb rate. Cruise at 1300 feet was pretty much spot on 150 mile an hour indicated. We didn't climb much higher during the test, but Mark tells me that the aircraft performs best at 5 to 6,000 feet, so you can expect a higher true air speed with altitude. This aircraft was optioned with the largest engine option available, and it is as loud as you would expect at max cruise speed. However, when you slow it down to 60 to 70 mile an hour, it becomes surprisingly quiet. It's very smooth, it still responds very well, and it's a lot of fun to fly at those speeds. Having such a wide envelope to operate in really gives you the best of both worlds, combining comfortable slow flight and short takeoff and landing with a fast cruise speed and long range. The stalls were as expected, very, very slow and also quite gentle. I recorded the airspeed indicator, but at those speeds we couldn't get an accurate reading. Landing speed is quoted at 40 mile an hour, so it is a very slow speed capable aircraft. White legend, you're clear to land. 36 right, red square. Aircraft just over the numbers now for the right the right side. Keep it over all the way down to the red square and give me a good roll to the end. Did you change the legend to the right? Yes, legend. I want you on the right, legend, please. Right, the right side. 36 right, red square. Not a problem. We're going to way back over to that island over there. Now I was very excited to fly this aircraft when I got to Oshkosh and I'll explain why. I love everything about bush flying and stall capable aircraft and I can definitely see myself building an aircraft and getting more into the bush flying in the future. There are heaps of bush planes on the market but most of them are only two seat which is why I was really excited to see a four place bear hawk in person and then get to fly it as well. Bearhawk demo, Warbird Island inbound. Okay, we're ready to get a Bearhawk demo inbound for landing. Bearhawk demo, Roger, report to the island. We're at the island, Bearhawk demo. Roger, report to mile right base. Apart from the two extra seats, the four-place Bearhawk also has a lot more useful load. It's a proper four-seat aircraft that can actually carry four people plus gear, rather than having a back seat that's only good for sitting your flight bag on. It's also perfect for just two people when you want to take those longer trips and carry a lot more gear. The back seat is even removable to give you more physical space so you could carry a pair of mountain bikes, for example. With the extra seating capacity and useful load in a stall capable, fast cruising bush plane, it has to be one of the best all round aircraft that you can build yourself for a fraction of the cost of a factory built aircraft. On the way back in, you'll see the seaplane base, which is a short bus ride from Oshkosh, so don't forget to see that when you're there. 
Fairhawk demo, right base. Fairhawk. left, Fairhawk demo. Add her out to the yellow dot. Yellow dot, Fairhawk demo. Fairhawk demo, thank you. Shower, fly to four tips, approach the Warford Island now. Fly to four tips, Roger, report a two mile initial. Pretty old head, expect the right break. Two mile initial right break for, uh... Right clear to land, add her after the, uh, red square. Right hand side after, add her, add her, after red square, Fairhawk demo. Unfortunately, due to the traffic volume when we returned to Oshkosh, we couldn't do a short landing to a complete stop to demonstrate the aircraft's capability. But with a landing speed of 40 mile an hour and a takeoff roll in a few hundred feet, there's no doubt that it would get into short strips without any problem. Four. Three. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click on the link for part two of the Bearhawk videos where I talk to Mark, the owner of Bearhawk, to get an overview of all the models in the lineup. Hopefully the audio recorded because I've been having problems with audio. I've been trying oh, really? different, different cables and all sorts of stuff. A little better recorded. I was even careful about my language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>